get a lot of questions about the use of probiotics, antibiotics, and, and what are called antifungal medications, and whether they can be used together, whether they need to be separated, you know, when's the best time to take these, these medications. An antibiotic is a medication, typically a prescriptive medication, that is most known to eradicate bacteria. Okay, so E. coli, strep, staph, Klebsiella, these are all different forms of bacteria. Now an antibiotic can also be used to eradicate parasites. Giardia, Cryptosporidium, Entamoeba histolytica are different forms of parasitic infections, but typically various forms of antibiotics are also useful at eradicating those. An antifungal, or more commonly an anti-yeast medication like Nystatin, Diflucan, or Nizerol are specifically effective at eradicating yeast. Candida, um, uh, different forms of Saccharomyces, okay, are, are different, different forms of yeast. Right? And so an antibiotic typically is effective against bacteria, whereas an antifungal or anti-yeast medication is effective against candida species or other types of yeast organisms. Now a probiotic is, is a supplement that is particularly beneficial because it supplies natural bacteria that naturally reside in the digestive system. So they're bacteria. Acidophilus, bifidobacter are some of the more common ones. There's another type of probiotic called Saccharomyces boulardii. Now Saccharomyces boulardii is actually a yeast, but it's still classified as a probiotic. So you, technically you have probiotics that are bacteria and you have a probiotic called Saccharomyces boulardii. How should you take these things and when should you hold off on certain medications? If you're taking an antibiotic, Flagyl, Amoxicillin, Penicillin, tetracycline, those are going to have an adverse effect against pro bacterial probiotics. Common ones are Culturel, VSL-3, you know, probiotic support formula. Those are all bacteria probiotics. So an antibiotic, is, if you took them at the same time, is going to eradicate and kill off the natural bacteria. That's one of the problems of antibiotics is that they kill the natural bacteria in your digestive tract and allow for yeast overgrowth. However, if you took Saccharomyces boulardii, which is also a probiotic, at the same time as the antibiotic, there's going to be no effect. Matter of fact, it could be beneficial. The reason is, is Saccharomyces, even though it's a probiotic, is actually a yeast. And an antibiotic is not going to kill yeast. On the other hand, if you took Nystatin, Diflucan, or Nizerol, which is an which is a anti-yeast, antifungal medication, it will adversely affect the Saccharomyces boulardii because it too is a yeast. However, the Nystatin, Diflucan, and Nizerol are not going to adversely affect the bacterial probiotics such as Culturel, VSL3, probiotic support formula. So really, you know, you can safely take bacterial probiotics at the same time as an antifungal and you can take Saccharomyces boulardii at the same time as an antibiotic. A medication like Nystatin, because you're taking it multiple times throughout the day and it's only staying local within the intestinal system, it doesn't get absorbed into the body and metabolized through the liver, is best taken on an empty stomach, you know, 30 minutes before meals, maybe an hour, hour and a half after meals. And that way, the medication isn't having to fight, you know, to get to the yeast through all the food that you have passing through your digestive system. With respect to things like Nizerol and Diflucan, which are systemically absorbed antifungals, for the most part it doesn't really matter because they're going to have a quick pass through the gut, get absorbed into the body, and have a beneficial effect throughout. Antibiotics, it really depends on the type of antibiotic, whether it needs to be more on an empty stomach or not. Typically they're taken with a little bit of food because they can sometimes stimulate nausea.